Oh, hello there. So, you want to know how to set up a soundboard just like I do, huh? Well, let me show you. Well, hey, can you explain what that soundboard is? Well, this soundboard is a Launchpad Mini. It's a smaller, more compact version of the Launchpad Pro, but it still has the same features with the Pro. Just, again, more compact. Now, this is by Novation, and they're a great company that makes a lot of soundboard equipment and software to go with the soundboard. All right, so how much uh, is one of those critters? Well, one of these costs around uh, $100, give or take. Uh, some of them can go a lot higher, but uh, this one was, yeah, around 100 bucks. Uh, hashtag not sponsored, by the way. But uh, for what it is and all the features that it has, it's a pretty good price for everything that it does. Well, Zach, what exactly would you use a soundboard like this for? Well, a soundboard like this can be used in pretty much three possible ways. Uh, one of the most common ways is by professionals who want to who sort of uh, DJ with their own sort of uh, music files and all sorts of uh, different effects for parties and such. The second way which a lot of gamers online use it for is to add uh, like voice lines or effects during game to add a little bit more pizzazz to it. And I personally use it for communicating in my own way because often where I go, like a library, you're not supposed to speak, speak loudly. So I use this to play audio files digitally and be able to talk with my friends in my own way. Well, once I have it unboxed and I got it plugged into the USB port, how do I get it started? Well, first you'll have to go on to Alberton Live site. So why don't you come on over with me and I'll show you. So then, first thing you want to do is go into Ableton live light this is what will be free when coming with your device and now you want to make sure that you get the right version so you can get windows 64-bit or mac os 64-bit and you just hit download Okay then, now that you have Alberton Live Light, you're going to need to get a system called VB Cable. Now, in order to get that, you can get from this site, vbaudio.com, and all you have to do is download right here, and then you'll have this zip file. Now, what you want to do is go into this zip file, and inside it, you'll find all of this. Now, before you do anything further, you're going to have to unzip this. Now, to start, you're going to need to create a uh, separate folder, just an empty folder somewhere on your computer, and right-click, hold, and be able to select everything and drag and drop into here. Now, I've already done that, which then my stuff should look like this. Now, over here, you're going to want to use either VB cable setup for a 32-bit, 
or VB cable SEP for your 64-bit if it's a uh, your Windows device. I use VB cable SEP 64-bit because I have a 64-bit system. Now, once you get that setup all done, you're going to want to restart your computer. And this is where the fun begins. All right then, now you're gonna to want to go into Ableton Live Lite. And this should be the first thing you see. Now, first, before you get into any of this, you're gonna to wanna to go into Options and all the way down here in Preferences. Now, you'll see this to start off with, and in order to set up your uh, your launch pad, you're gonna want to go into here, launch pad, and then you'll have your input if your launch pad is in. I have mine selected for my launch pad mini. All right then. Now, in order to who get it set up with VB cable. You don't want to go into audio, the one right above, link MIDI, and select audio output device. You'll see all these options, and you want to go with cable input VB audio virtual cable DX. And now that should set up your Ableton Live with your VB cable. Now there are just a few more steps for this, so just hang in with me. All right, now the next step is to go into your control panel and first go into hardware and sound. Now from here, you wanna go the third option down, sound and third over manage audio devices. Now from here, you want to go into recording and right click on the cable output, which should be your VB audio cable. Right click that and go into properties. From here, you want to go over into listen and select this box, listen to this device and play back through the speakers of whatever device you have. And hopefully, if you've done all the steps correctly, it should work now. Now, let's test it out. All right, now it's time to plug in your Alpton Live. Ooh. Now, from Alpaton Live, this, again, is the first thing you should see. Now, what you want to deal with is these audio files. So you can just go ahead, right-click on MIDI 1 and MIDI 2 and delete those. And from here, you have two rows of audio files. If you ever want to make any more, you can just right-click on audio file and duplicate as many times as you want. Now then, in order to add an audio file, you just have to go into a folder with a whole bunch of sound files like I have and drag and drop into the space that you want it. Now notice that a file was created right under your uh, original sound file. This is just so Albaton can keep track of everything. Now, from here, you're not exactly ready yet. You see down here, there is warp and loop on. Now, this will have your audio file loop, and you don't really want to do that, so you can just go ahead and click on warp, and that will have everything turned off. And now, if we look at our soundboard, we can see that where we placed our sound file, oh, a light is on. 
and if we push this button, it will play the audio file that we put in the box. <laughs> Alright, and that's everything you need to know about Alberton Live, your soundboard, and how to set it up. So, that's all you need to know. Now, this is the setup that I have, and even this is not nearly as complicated as it could be, and as you've seen, it's already pretty complicated, so I wanted to create this tutorial for everyone else out there that might want to use the same setup and purposes as I do, because it could be pretty fun, but uh, no one seems to really have a video out there for something like this. So, this is what I made. Well, that about wraps everything up, so hope this tutorial was helpful in setting up your own soundboard, and hope you all have a great time.